Welcome to episode two of the Flash Reviews. I'm Kid Gamer, and I'm joined today with Zombie Hunter eight six seven. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? And we're here to discuss episode two of the Flash episode. Zombie, what, are we, start, to... what are we starting off with? Like, you want to go first? Like with the part about Iris and Barry. Well, there's very much two things to discuss this time. It is like what Kid said. So we got the two halves uh, of the sh- of of this episode, which is the main conflict with the uh, bad guy Kilgore, and then you have uh, some relationship stuff. Ew, with uh, Iris, Barry, the, with the with those two, and then separately Cisco and Gypsy. So, um, I guess since it started out with the the two couples, I, I guess I will I will go with that, and then we can well you can mainly go into Kilgore after that. So, pretty much, we start out with the episode. Barry's feeling uh, very energized. He's happy, and I'm. Not going to just so you know. I'm not going to just retell everything. So the main conflict you got is, is that Iris and Barry are having a little bit of trouble. There, you got uh, like Barry's feeling like everything's fine. He's just going on head, doing stuff without asking, thinking it's the right thing. Iris getting mad at him you're like well why why would she get mad at him so eventually she has iris has a talk with caitlin and about and she brings up couples therapy and all that stuff because iris is feeling like it might something's off due to due to her now being part of team flash and now her and barry are working together she thinks it's kind of that messing up the relationship. Like it's throwing off a vibe. A bad vibe. But as the episode progresses, she goes they go through their therapy and whatnot. She she um she goes on and she tells Barry that no, it's the problem is that she's upset with him for just uh, for just uh, getting up and leaving her at the end of season three so not happy at all about that and so they they go on to work they 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 work it out at the end or better for it after Barry finally starts listening to what Iris has to say instead of uh, just going and doing what he thinks is right and he also explains his side of what was going on at the end of season three, where he's just trying to put on a brave face look, and look like he has everything covered. Because he felt like the only responsibility came down to him, but he had to learn that it, it's not just him that shares, uh, that shares the responsibility of the Flash, especially now. It's him and Iris that share that responsibility. Then on the Cisco and Gypsy side, you have uh, Gypsy come in early on into the episode, like early middle part, or late, or a late beginning rather, where, where like she breaches in, which I might say is a very very like it, she took forever coming through the breach, and so it gave time for Iris, Caitlin, and Wally to get there. Guns ready. Cisco comes in and is like, no, no, it's Gypsy. And uh, and so, where am I going on with this? I was trying to lay out. I was trying to lay out a joke for it, but now that's that's over now. You so anyway, um, you want me to finish this off? Cause we'll just get to the point. She came here to celebrate her Earth version of Valentine's Day, basically. Which is one 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 day, with vibe and 
or Cisco, whatever you want to refer to him as. And in a way, she plays a part to help defeat the villain, but we'll get back to that towards the end of this video. But anyway, yeah. anyway she wanted to get together with Cisco and celebrate one 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 day, which is a tradition on her Earth, which is basically Valentine's Day, which would be on Earth 1. And there's tension between those two where they're like, I didn't know it was your holiday. Y'all have weird holidays. It's like... Hashtag Saint Shaquille O'Neal Day. Yes, they <laughs> confirmed that it is a holiday on Earth. Whatever 19? it is that Gypsy's from. No, yeah, thank you. Or I could be wrong. I forgot could, that. I know it's a teen. No, no, it's 19. It's 19. So... You must not be yeah. watching the same episode as me. Um, are you sure? I mean, I'm I'm and, from our version of Earth too. And then she so was, maybe it's off. <laughs> and then she was basically just seeing a red a man in a red suit that breaks into people's houses eating cookies, which would be referring to Santa Claus, and she called him an elf, right? Yeah, you know, you know, it's funny. I, I actually thought, okay, that explains it because like I, I thought she was referring like making some sort of, I don't know, it's weird. I thought it was like making some sort of reference to Barry, like as if he was doing some sort of well, joke like thing to Cisco. Era. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Wow. Granted, he have and red. If he just ran into houses eating cookies, and be like, okay, he's Santa Claus, apparently. He's leaving everybody tennis shoes because he wants them to run. Get healthy, America. Yeah. Get healthy. This that's, is not a political statement, just that's, FYI. <laughs> that's why Santa Claus is eating our cookies, because he doesn't want us to eat them. Oh, boy. Where's your Christmas spirit, good gamer? Bah humbug. Don't make me get religious on this video. Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. So, um, so let's get into, let's get into your segment about the villain now, kid. Alright, so the villain is named Kilgore, which is basically the name of the program that him and several other people have been developing. And with the... Well, the thinker's involved some way in this, because you see a glimpse of him at the end of the episode, like you did in episode one, so you know he's involved some way in fashion. It's like oh. a big old chess game. And this is like, Kilgore is just, in a way, I think he wanted to get captured by the Flash from the way it looked towards the end of the episode. Mm, I I don't think it's that he wanted to get captured, but the thinker wanted him to get captured. But Kilgore was trying to kill everybody else that was involved in the project that he started in his garage. I wonder if this is Apple and he's Steve Jobs. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's a private then... time. <laughs> no. But it makes sense, because Steve Jobs started it in a basement. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, he's going around having his own personal vendetta, trying to get revenge and kill the people that stole his idea, sold it to a company, and made millions of dollars to basically where they could live the life of luxury. He's successful in killing, I think, one person that was yeah. involved? The other two were... Saved thanks to the Flash. One was saved twice. The the other, she was uh, saved once. I think by Wally too. Yeah, is yeah, is Wally and by Joe. Wally and Joe, because they noticed that the audio that they set, that Wally set up during that s scene, where he just basically ran through the whole house setting up cameras, not camera audio feed to try to capture him, and when that audio feed started getting messed with 
when the audio came back and they heard her like gasping for air because they gave her too much in because Kilgore gave her too much insulin so she was she needed basically sugar in her or glucose so while they had to run find her glucose pen and just pop her full of glucose then towards the and then then the, towards the end we got um Kilgore then we got Barry we got Wally both of them were going after him together to insert this virus that like I said Cisco made thanks to the help of Gypsy for giving them the idea of one zero one one zero and they just made a thing to stop his powers with that but before Barry or anybody could eject him into it Kilgore took over Barry's suit made Barry hurt Wally Kid Flash so Kid Flash is basically out of it then you got Barry being controlled by Kilgore then you got Iris on the other hand giving him the idea once Barry was able to get away from Kilgore gets the idea from Iris throw a lightning bolt at himself to short out the suit where he'll no longer be controlled by Kilgore he does that the suit's no longer being controlled by Kilgore Kilgore gets the I guess drug drugged yeah he gets drugged and his powers are null and void then they take him to the metahuman wing of was it Blackgate or Iron Gate? No, Iron Heights. Iron Blackgate's Heights. the Gotham one. Well, so it's Iron Heights. So, yeah, Iron Heights. I think that's. I might be wrong on this, but I believe that's near Star City. I thought it was like in between, and that's why some of the metahumans made it to Star City. And like. Yeah, it's probably that. Arrow. But yeah, that's about all I got for Kilgore. Because I think I covered almost everything he did. He had a vendetta, tried to kill people. He killed one. Failed to kill the other two. One of uh, those other two he tried to kill twice. And the ways that he tried to kill him... The first one... Well, no, no, he tried to kill the... He tried to kill the second guy three times. Oh, yeah. Because it was the car. Then he tried to tear him in two. No, 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 no. It was a grenade. That was the second one. Oh, he he tried to kill him four times. No, it was the car, grenade, and tearing him apart. No, remember? At the end, he he tries to he just tries to go with a more he tries to go with a more simple route. Oh, he tries and to tries shoot. to shoot him. Yes, he tries to yeah. shoot him. Yeah. The times where Barry steps up Well he pretty much stepped up all three times. Cause but then again the second like the car, Barry just dismantled the whole car. When it could have just, the car could have been saved if he had listened to Iris, and and had it go down this uh, the street on the left instead of the street on the right. Because oh, surprise, surprise, the street on the right ended up being on construction, and Barry didn't know that because oh, he's been stuck in the speed force for six months. Yeah. And then the second time was Barry stopped a grenade, the shrapnel from the grenade, basically killing Joe and, what was his name? Did he have, he had a name. I just can't think of it right now, but he saved basically Joe by collecting every single piece of shrapnel before. You could reach him and the second guy. Yeah, we're going to refer to him as the second guy because he's the second guy that Kilgore tried to kill. And then yeah. The third time, like the zombie said, was when he was trying to be ripped apart by chains like a wishbone. That's what he was referred to as. Yep. A wishbone. After, after, like, Kilgore started doing that after he had the second guy, rec- well, not record, but the second guy was 
like there was live a live stream. stream. Yes, there was a live stream. Is being live streamed of a and confession. he was, yeah. And then obviously the fourth time, the guy sh- shoots at the guy. Kilgore shoots at the guy, and the guy just gets saved again because Barry just reaches out, grab that bullet, almost like a Saiyan, almost like in episode one for Dragon Ball Z, where you got oh Raditz, yeah, where you got Raditz, grab the bullet, the the farmer shot at him. But instead, he flicks it back at the farmer. Poor farmer. You've just been waiting for a Dragon Ball Z reference to pop up. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. So I guess. That basically like, covers it, don't it? Yeah, I mean, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty solid episode. I mean, I felt like uh, it was kind of tacky with the way that Barry. Um, use Cisco's antivirus thing. I mean, I wasn't paying too much attention, but it just looked like he just lamely stuck it on him as Kilgore stood there and accepted his fate or something. That's well, what, was, that's how... I think it was around the same time he was trying to fight, like when he fired the gun, Barry was able to actually grab the antidote real quick, run to the guy, shoot, like, inject him where he couldn't even control his electronics anymore, and then just, you know, just took the bullet. Yeah, okay. But I think that's how the last scene played out, but I could be wrong. But it's, it's something along that line, yeah. You, you, probably, you, it, you probably saw it better than I did because I was eating dinner. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> this is this why... This is how it works. <laughs> this is why before we recorded, I ate my dinner. But Zombie had to eat his dinner... <laughs> during the episode. So I was fortunate yep. enough to see the majority of the episode take place. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty solid episode. I like how I like how they're working with the thinker where it's like, okay, we're getting to see him. We know who he is. We zombie, get to zombie. see him at the end of every episode. We forgot to mention the part where they made a reference to the Green Arrow, which is also on CW. Uh Oh yeah, where yeah, the to mayor, episode two. Where the mayor but, is the Green Arrow, so now he's basically, I think, has to go to court or something. Well, don't know. We don't, I know we don't discuss Green Arrow on this channel <laughs> unless y'all want to. Yeah, we'd be up for that. This this is going well so far. I mean, I feel like we we've. I think compared to the first episode, I think this is a much better format that we just tried out tonight. So, but yeah, Pat's on the back side. I say it's time to wrap this thing up. So, I'm Kid. kid. I've, I've been Kid Gamer, 1989 or 89, and I've been joined today with Zombie Hunter 867. Thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to rate. The video on whether or not you liked it or disliked it we do not mind either or because we like our feedback and if you have a thought or suggestion be sure to post it down in that comment section below and with that we will see you all next time right kid yep see ya bye